my dad and my stepmom decided to get a divorce, and she said, don't worry about paying rent. I'll pay this last month so you can find a job because dad was unemployed. And then a couple of days later, she forgot about it and asked for the money, and dad said, I don't have any money. I can't pay you. Besides, you already said that we could stay here for a month. And she's like, I didn't say that. Like, you can pack your bags and leave. So we packed our bags, and so it was Dad and I sleeping in a single mattress in the back of the car. And that first night, I was crying so much, and I was, like, really shaken. I was, I didn't know what was going to happen or where we were going to go. The next morning, we waited for her to go to work. We went to the house. I had a shower, got the rest of our belongings, and then I went to school. Obviously, all my friends knew about it. They were all really supportive, and they were, like, saying... Oh, like, you can come stay with us if you want. So we drove to this park, and there were toilets there, but they locked them up at night time. But this one morning, they left the key in the door. So then on the other side of the toilets, there was a disabled toilet that was never opened or used during the day. So we put, like, a big belongings there, and Dad made a shower out of a hose, and that's where we would shower every night. And then because the parks have barbecues and then that's where we would cook and yeah we had to go to the supermarket every day just to buy for the day because we didn't have a fridge so we couldn't buy anything else after a couple of months of living like that one of my dad's friends found out so he let us stay with him for a couple of weeks until we found something else and dad was really embarrassed so he was looking really hard with the little money that he had he couldn't pay for a house or an apartment or anything so he found this shared house, which there was lots of people living in it, and it was really crowded. It was kind of embarrassing living there too. Everyone would like look at you and what you ate, what you did, if you were just locked in your room or whatever. We hated it there, and I was looking so hard for a job. And he finally found one, but it was in another state. And I really did not want to go but I knew that we had to because we couldn't keep living in this house with these random people and I just started bawling my ass out I didn't want to leave my friends it was just sad for me and then we had to drive from New South Wales to the Northern Territory I just cried a lot basically but it's been three years since we moved to the Northern Territory I'm still here and I'm super happy that we finally got accommodated and found something else that was better for us. And yeah, I'm just really happy and I'm, I'm glad that we had that experience because it brought us closer together and it really shows you what you have and what you take for granted. So yeah, I'm really in a better place now.